just like I left it. Ah, ah. Oh, I forgot about that. It's more a lifestyle of saying yes. Trainiacs. Got back from 10 days of travel yesterday. Actually feeling not too bad. That means training is back underway. Heading to the pool right now to do the very first long swim for the 39K marathon swim that we're training for. Now that Ironman Campeche is over, it's time to start getting prepped for that long swim, which means that every single weekend I start doing a long swim. Today we're gonna start with 4,500 meters, do it in three chunks of a half an hour, driving the one mile to the pool. <sighs> I miss that Pan Am chlorine and kids from River Heights in Winnipeg pee smell. It smells like home. Contraband pool swim box appears to be... Mm -hmm. Just like I left it. Before I get going, always licking your goggles to avoid fog. Allow me to explain how we do these long swim builds. Had to switch goggles there. The socket rockets died in the four seconds in between moving the camera from there to there. So how we do these long swim builds is for time, not distance, because during the long swim, we go in 30 minute chunks and stop the boat every 30 minutes to take our nutrition, which is very specialized and I'll tell you about another day. Got nutrition and electrolytes. So every 30 minutes we stop and we take our nutrition. So that's what I wanna get in the habit of here during the long swim to train my gut and my body to go in 30 minute intervals with nutrition every 30 minutes. I also use floaty pants during these long swims when they're indoors because I'm gonna be using a wetsuit in the long swim. So I want these to be as similar to the long swim as possible. And today I'm guessing it's gonna be something like three times 30 minutes continuous. Should probably get me to around 48. 100 meters, and that 30 minutes also includes the break. 4,500 meters to 5,000 meters, somewhere around there. Starts right now. Goggles are not agreeing with me. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Nope, not today, Taryn. All right, third time's a charm. One 30 minute rep down and whew, 1500 meters on the nose. This is not very fast swimming. It's not intended to be. It's actually intended to be really slow. Ah, ah. Oh, I forgot about that. Ah, that's like old cough syrup and rotten coffee cake. <sighs> oh, ah. Remember when I said I have to get my gut used to this? Yeah. Yeah. That there is 3,000 very slow meters in 59 minutes. Two of three done. I might have been a little bit ambitious wanting to do this about 16 hours after landing. The stroke's already falling apart. And that is uh, one eighth of the way done compared to the long swim. <laughs> at least I got the lane to myself again. I had a dude and a dudette that came in and joined me for about 1,200 meters. Oh yeah, and that is it. Actually did that last 1500. I know I said I wasn't going for 1500s, I was going for time, but I did that last chunk fastest of the three. Check this out, I outlasted all but one person in the pool. It's pretty quiet, eh? <laughs> all right, let's, uh, let's go over there. I'll tell you a little bit more about this long swim, why we're doing it. All right, it's time for some hashtag real talk about this long swim. So the reason that I did the long swim a bunch of years ago is the same reason that I'm doing it now. Kind of in line with when I talk about how people should adopt the triathlon lifestyle. And what I mean by that isn't necessarily that you need to just do a whole bunch of triathlons, be an awesome triathlete. It's more a lifestyle of saying yes and taking on challenges that you don't think that you can do to prove to yourself that you can do it and to prove to other people that they can do things that they don't expect that they can do as well. So whether that's 
doing triathlons, doing marathon swims, doing marathons, climbing a mountain, taking on a business venture. The reason that I started doing triathlons was to start ripping off the band-aid and getting in the habit of saying yes, I can do that and going through the steps and the process and doing whatever it takes to accomplish those goals. And the cool part about it is that when you start doing it, the first one seems daunting, but then the second one seems a little bit easier. And the third one seems a little bit easier than that. So whether you are starting with a 5K run, a half marathon, a sprint triathlon, a try a try, why I say you have to start by starting is because I think the hardest part is taking that first step and going into that first race, first challenge, first goal, first bucket list item that you want to check off. And once you get in the habit of doing that, all of a sudden, the next one becomes a little bit more reasonable and a little bit more feasible. It's cool how it snowballs. A few years down the road, you're doing things that you never thought that you would be able to do. You got so many fluffies here today. Comb your hair, guys. The reason that I know that this happens is because I've gone through it. And it's also the reason that I know that anyone, no matter how fit or unfit or uncoordinated or afraid of the water they are, can do a triathlon. Absolutely anyone can do these. Seven years ago, I Sure, you know it. I was afraid of the water. Like, did not go into pools, thought there were sharks in there. Open water, even with a life vest, scared the bejesus out of me. I started that first triathlon. Before I did it, I was only able to swim literally 14 lengths of a pool. I did not go into open water because I was afraid of it. Uh, I did not get in the middle of the swim pack during a triathlon because I was afraid of all the churning. But that first one was the gateway drug that made me want to keep going and got me addicted to the sport. Why I did that first marathon swim was to have a mark that I was tackling a challenge that was like my absolute biggest fear 10 years ago. And I wanted to prove that through triathlon, I had changed my life and overcome those fears. If I can impart anything through this channel, it's that I would love if you all got into the mindset and a lifestyle of saying yes. Anyone, absolutely anyone, just needs to say yes. And that's it, and then good things will happen. Trust me, I had to get home to get up today's video and then go to the office and bring a week's worth of stuff to the office. I'll see you there. Now, I rarely get all rah-rah triathlon on you like that, but sometimes I think it's important to communicate not why I'm doing this, but I think put it into perspective of why I think other people should do things like this. Because it can be life-changing, and I guarantee that if you do it and you take on more and more challenges, your life is going to be more fulfilled and you're going to be happier thrilled that you did it and you're going to look back on your life years from now and be really glad that you took that first step. So sometimes a little first step booster is fun, warranted, important, just as important as hanging is and just as important as sunscreen is apparently. Now that's a little more orderly, take a bunch of stuff to the office. Look at what the jerks did. Well, look at what Teddy and Mel did. They were clearly very busy. Somebody's getting more work this week. Thanks ladies. You did a good job with the channel. You wanna do a Facebook Live? Yeah. Let's do a Facebook Live. We did a heavy, heavy volume on the run. Lots of over distances on the run, but not a lot in the bike. And I was worried about that. Worked out. Hmm. Coaches know what they're doing. That's why you hire them. Oh, you're still going. Ha, huh? good luck cutting that together into an eight minute video, Mel. I think you got 40 minutes of footage. <laughs> Bye, Traniacs. We're going for burgers. <laughs>